after having seen the various factors behind the outbreak of the Second World War, we will now be looking at the main events of the war, which truly makes the Second World War a story to tell again. Now, any discussion on the main events of the Second World War would be incomplete without looking at Hitler's method of warfare, as it was this method of warfare which truly helped him in expanding his territories to an exponential level. Now, you must remember that the Second World War broke out with Hitler's invasion of Poland. But he did not stop there. In this map, you can see the various German conquests in Europe between the year 1939 to 1942. You can see how he has aggressively expanded to almost all sides of Europe, either through land attacks or through air attacks. So we can see that major nations of Europe such as Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Romania, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Greece and a part of France fell vulnerable to German land attacks and Great Britain had to face German air attacks. Now what was the secret behind such aggressive, continuous and massive expansion? Was it because Germany had some superpower up its sleeve or was it because of Hitler's sheer will? Well, the reason behind such continuous and aggressive expansions happens to be Hitler's method of warfare. Let us look at that now. During the Second World War, Germany had devised a special form of war tactic and this war tactic was called the Blitzkrieg. The Blitzkrieg is a German word which means lightning war and the aim of this Blitzkrieg is to strike a swift and focused blow at the enemy and to catch the enemy by surprise. This particular war tactic proved very successful for Hitler as he managed to consolidate his power in Europe during the Second World War. Now, do you want to know what is so special about this war tactic? The entire concept of this blitzkrieg form of war tactic is to run fast and to catch the enemy by surprise. Have you ever had surprise guests coming to your house? Do you not feel very unprepared as you don't have any snacks or refreshments to provide them? None of us like such kind of surprises, do we? Now imagine Hitler's army to be like those surprise guests who reach the battlefield well in advance before the enemy even knows that a battle is about to take place. Therefore the entire tactic relies on the element of surprise, speed and mobility. In fact, the Blitzkrieg tactic uses mobile and maneuverable forces which rely upon motorable elements such as armored vehicles and tanks alongside military aircrafts as well. And what these do is that it leads to a quicker victory as the other side does not even see it coming and they are caught by surprise and therefore not in any condition to retaliate or to even call for aid. And such a quick victory often leads to limited loss of soldiers and also limited loss of artillery. Therefore, it is a quick way to attain victory, relying on speed and catching the enemy by surprise. Now, Blitzkrieg was made possible due to the advancements in German armament as well as communications technology. These included heavy artillery, armored vehicles and tanks, military aircrafts, as well as communication technology such as radio disruption. Now, these advancements took place in the interwar period, especially under the encouragement of Hitler, who knew that it is only advancement in technology which can truly form a good war tactic. It's not always about the numbers, it's more about the strategy. Now, if you want to see some instances of the Blitzkrieg tactic used by the Nazi army in the battlefield, you can click on the link below to access the iDictionary feature. Now, enough discussion on paper. Time to see this Blitzkrieg tactic in action. Now, Hitler's invasion of Poland in September of 1939 happens to be the first application of the Blitzkrieg tactic in warfare. In this invasion of Poland, Tanks and armored vehicles stormed into Poland alongside aerial bombardment as well as trained infantrymen marching in. In the invasion of Poland, armored vehicles and tanks, which were kept in a disguised manner outside the Polish border, stormed into the country alongside infantrymen marching in as well as aerial bombardment. And the Poles had no time to respond and neither could they call for aid. 
it only took the nazi army a single week to take over the entire country and in fact the nazi army was able to move 200 kilometers in only 5 days which is a remarkable achievement given the year we are talking about now in these pictures you can see some instances of hitler's invasion of poland which remains in history as the first application of the blitzkrieg tactic in warfare now can you answer this question where did hitler first apply his blitzkrieg tactic was it in the invasion of france in the invasion of denmark in the invasion of poland or in the invasion of britain the correct answer happens to be the invasion of poland hitler did not stop after the invasion of poland he knew that he has a limited window to occupy as many nations as he can and he made sure his war tactic was rapid enough to catch up to his ambitions in between april to may of 1940 which made up the first phase of the war hitler managed to occupy not one but five other nations apart from poland namely denmark norway holland luxembourg and belgium all which were forced to surrender to germany as they were simply unprepared to counter germany's blitzkrieg after invading major western as well as northern european nations hitler turned his attention to something bigger france now if you remember france and germany had been long time rivals and it was france that imposed all the humiliating terms of the versailles treaty on germany hitler wanted to exact revenge for this and he had a long time goal of waving the swastika flag which was the flag of the nazi party itself as well as nazi germany he wanted to raise the swastika flag from the eiffel tower a symbol of france and its strength now hitler then launched a full scale invasion of france in the june of 1940 and the very same month hitler actually succeeded in this invasion of france and managed to occupy a major portion of the country alongside achieving his intended goal the invasion of paris now in this picture over here we can see the german invasion of france on the right we see hitler's long time dream coming to reality the swastika being waved from the eiffel tower in paris So we saw how Hitler utilized this tactic of blitzkrieg to exponentially increase his territory and even managed to occupy a portion of France. But Hitler's long-time target was Britain or the United Kingdom, and his ultimate aim was to mount a full-scale attack on Britain. But there was a small problem, and the problem was the English Channel, which separated Britain from the rest of Europe, which meant that Hitler could not use his loyal tanks and his infantry to attack Britain, but he could use his planes and that is why his attack on Britain was done by employing a modified version of Blitzkrieg which relied completely on German fighter planes. When Germany knew that it has enough control over all surrounding areas of Britain, it launched a full-scale attack on Britain between April to June of 1940, which is known as the Blitz. German fighters intensively bombarded the British ports, factories and major cities. They made sure that they bombed sites of strategic importance including key ports and cities. Of the many cities attack, London was the key target. Day and night London was bombed and almost reduced to a rubble. The Blitz left Britain in a devastated condition. There were several people dead and close to 100,000 who were left injured. Countless military installations were hampered and millions of homes were reduced to rubble as you can see in this picture. The people of the British towns had to take refuge in makeshift bomb shelters such as this one in an abandoned underground or a metro station in London. With this level of impact of the blitz, Germany indeed was successful in shaking Britain at its core. However, Britain did not surrender. Winston Churchill, the then Prime Minister of Britain, firmly defended his country. In a fiery speech which Winston Churchill made to the public, he said, "We shall defend our country no matter what the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds." we shall fight in the streets in the hills we shall fight everywhere but we shall never surrender seeing such firm resistance on the part of the british hitler finally postponed his operations against britain on may 11 1941 as continuing the blitz was proving to be rather expensive however hitler's blitzkrieg proved to be a key instrument in his reign of terror in the first chapter of the second world war hitler managed 
to increase the territory of Germany to an exponential level only in the matter of a single year. Starting from his invasion of Poland to exactly a year later, this map, the shaded portion, was the extent of German advancement and consolidation. We can see nations such as Ukraine, Poland, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Serbia, a part of France, and many other such nations came under the direct control of Hitler in the matter of a single year from the start of the Second World War. And this was solely to be credited to Hitler's blitzkrieg tactic. So we can understand then that through the blitzkrieg tactic, Hitler's Germany was enjoying a superiority in the first phase of the Second World War. Do things change from this point onwards? Well, we will be seeing that when we look at the entry of USA in the Second World War, which will be a topic of our next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So add Delta Step. Learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.